All right, guys, Mr. Leapfrog, I'm back again. Um, got a got a DC power source that we're going to be t um, playing around with the radio on. A little Cobra 19 for this short video. And um, wow, this camera's going spaz. <laughs> anyway, we've got a one kilohertz tone at 30% amplitude. Um, we'll be right back. All right, that's better there. Same difference. 1 kilohertz tone, 30% modulation. Alright. Here's a quick shot of the radio. Nothing special. It's a um, Cobra 19 DX. And it has a um, 2078 final in it from a Cobra 29. The driver is a 2314, which came in these radios. And um, nothing's been clipped or anything. We're going to check out the waveform on a scope. Well, uh, something you'll notice, I no longer have artifacts. We got a nice clean signal. I'm going to have to go into the, um, the iPad camera settings here because it's set for 60 hertz. Or I have to set it to 50 or something. I've got to apply a filter where, where you won't see the lines through it. Those lines don't show up in person like that diagonal. I believe that's because of the 60 hertz AC mains voltage we run off of here. Okay, let's run a tone through it. Reference. Well, there you go. There's a reference. And, ooh. Hey, that's pretty. Hey, I like that right there. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Wow. Now, there's no trigger settings set there. That's just a... That's just a solid, clean signal. I don't think it's quite at 100% modulation. See the two lines there in the graticule? Yeah, we're not quite at 100%. Yeah, that's better. <coughs> so on these um, these older Cobra 19s, your modulation adjustment point inside the radio is going to be um, it's labeled RV2, but really it's it's a VR, it's a variable resistor. But right in there, um, let me see if I can get a non-conductive pointing tool to help out here. There we go. That potentiometer right there. Um, it's, it's highly recommended that if you're ever going to be adjusting things inside of radios, you're going to need to get yourself a non-conductive tool set. Um, you could call it a screwdriver, but it's kind of inappropriate. It's, it's more like an alignment tool is what you're going to need. It's non-conductive, something that um, it's not going to cause shorts. There's a lot of other things going on right in here. So say, imagine if you had a metal screwdriver in here with the shaft and you know you could just bump into something possibly and cause some issues. So that's why I always recommend non conductive tool. Alright, uh, so we're going to adjust that little potentiometer just a little bit and see if we can get 100% modulation without destroying the quality of the waveform. Okay, that's by no means perfect. But... Uh, that's that's pretty much right at a hundred percent. I don't know what's going on with my zoom here. Let me uh, take off the trigger, shut off this annoying tone. But if you look at the modulated waveform for reference. Okay, so just uh, pay attention to exactly as what it occupies in the graticule, how much space it takes up in the graticule. The graticule being right here. Okay, so I don't think that's going to be 100%. I'll show you what I mean. All right, shut off that god awful noise for a second. Okay, I've changed the uh, volts per division. Instead of occupying two, I'm just calling them spaces for now, we're occupying one. Um, in order to achieve 100% modulation, you're going to normally occupy two spaces plus the one on the bottom and the one on top. So four total. So if you occupy two of these squares, you're at 100% modulation when you go and you have four total. And theoretically, you shouldn't see any nasty squigglies in the waveform or anything else like that. This is just kind of a short video. Um, I'm kind of in a better mood now. I was kind of bummed out earlier when I had all that trash in the signal and I couldn't do anything. Well, this is... This is a little pocket rocket radio, but, you know, 
It's better than me sitting there watching YouTube, so. Audio checking. One, two, three, four. Audio. So let me see if I can set a trigger here. Oh, audio. Not too bad, all in all. You know, I'm okay with that. Let's see. Um, let's see what it looks like when we do that. Center that bad boy up. It's about two. It's a little fatter than that, but. Oh. Okay. Let's put the tone on it. Set my trigger settings again, and uh, see if we have any pinched off carrier. Might have to set the trigger, do a few other adjustments. We'll be right back. So we're about four wide. About four wide. That's where it counts, right there. I need a third hand and a proper signal generator, but I'm working my way there. Oh yeah. It looks pretty symmetrical to me. I'm about to drop this iPad, so. Alright, so, um, hey, another one done. Another one of my personal radios adjusted, set correctly. Um, you know, I could have just clipped a diode and splattered and probably sounded loud to the locals, but I'd rather be clean. I'd rather have a clean signal and still sound loud. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing, uh, there's nothing quiet about 100% modulation. Now, if you buy a brand new radio and it's set for 60, 70% modulation, yeah, you turn it up to 95, 100, you're definitely going to notice a difference in the sound. All right, guys, another short video. Mr. Leapfrog, this is my broken signal generator. It's actually a little tablet computer with an app. But uh, I'm going to get me one of them real deals one day. So until then, take care. I'll catch you again with another video clip. Mr. Leapfrog, 7-3. Take care. Bye-bye-bye.